When you're building Svelte applications, you may often need to show or hide some HTML based on a certain condition. Svelte makes it really simple to do that by providing three special HTML blocks. They are if block, else block, and the else if block. The three blocks work similar to any other programming language where we use if, else, and else if statements. The only difference here is that we render HTML elements rather than execute some logic. Let's understand how they work with an example. Let's consider a very simple scenario. Given a variable, we need to display if it is zero, a positive number, a negative number, or not a number. Let's begin by defining a new constant. const num is equal to zero. First, let's check if the number is zero or not. We begin by adding an if block. The syntax is curly braces, then the hash symbol, followed by if keyword. This is followed by the expression we want to evaluate. Our expression is num is equal to zero. If it evaluates to true, we need to output some text. So let's add an h2 tag with the text. The number is zero. The hash if within curly braces represents the opening of the if block. We close this if block by adding another pair of curly braces but this time a forward slash followed by the if keyword. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we should see the text, the number is zero. If I change the number to five, the expression evaluates to false and the heading is not rendered in the browser. Fairly simple as you can see. But let's now improve this. Instead of not displaying anything, let's display that the number is not zero. And for that, we make use of the else block. Right after the h2 tag, we are going to add another block represented by curly braces. But this block is not the start or the end. It is a continuation block and is represented by a colon. This is followed by the else keyword. Within the else block, we add another heading that says the number is not zero. So h2 tag, the number is not zero. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, the text now reads the number is not zero. We are conditionally rendering our HTML based on data defined in the script section. If the number is zero, we display the first heading. Else, we display the second heading. Now when you just have an either or condition, the if else blocks are sufficient. But if you have more number of conditions, then you have to make use of the else if block as well. Let's add a few more conditional HTML elements. Let's display if the number is zero or negative or positive or not a number. Now we are already checking if the number is zero. Next, let's check if the number is negative or positive. So right after the first h2 element, we add the else if block. The syntax is curly braces, colon, else space if, and this is followed by the condition. The condition is that num is less than zero. Now if this condition is true, we render another heading that says the number is negative. Make a copy of the two lines, paste it, change condition is num greater than zero and the text negative to positive. So if the number is greater than zero, we output the text, the number is positive. Finally, if none of the conditions are satisfied, 
we display that it is not a number. Let's save the file and verify if this code works. Right now, num is set to 5 and hence we see that it is positive. Let me change it to minus 5 and you can see that the number is now negative. If I assign a string, you can see that it is not a number. Our conditional rendering markup is working as expected. All right, that is about the if, else, and else if logical blocks in Svelte. They are used to conditionally render HTML elements in the UI. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.